This story begins with salt, South Bay salt ponds that were harvested by Ohlone Native Americans for thousands of years. Beginning in the 1930s, family-run companies and small businesses made salt ponds a thriving industry, replacing hundreds of thousands of acres of natural tidal marshes. We need the wetlands back. These muddy ecosystems absorb floodwaters like a sponge and capture three to five times more carbon dioxide than tropical forest. They are considered critical to cope with climate change and sea level rise. The solution is both complex, expensive, and time-consuming. Breach the berms and allow the bay back where it once belonged. Welcome, welcome. The Salt Pond Restoration Project started um, just over 20 years ago. We're doing it, we're doing it for the birds. We're doing it for the health of the San Francisco Bay. So historically, like before the gold rush, the bay was surrounded by tidal wetlands, like 200,000 acres. And we lost somewhere between like 85 and 90% of those wetlands. We have a regional effort um, going on for several decades now to um, get to 100,000 acres of tidal wetlands. And I think we're somewhere at like the 40 something thousand acre line. We're bringing this bay closer in, restoring these marshes and still doing that in a way that isn't causing problems. In fact, it's, it's causing benefits, right? They began around 2006 with projects like Eden Landing near Hayward, an area now firmly re-established as tidal wetlands, providing boat ramps for kayakers, trails for hikers, and nature stops. 45 minutes away, the biggest project perhaps, restoring tidal wetlands while at the same time protecting the water treatment plant for 1.5 million people and high-tech companies in the South Bay. Making sure that as we open up some of these ponds to tidal flows and bring the bay closer to the community, we don't accidentally increase flood risk for the communities behind them. To restore the tidal marshes here, they also need to first build this four-mile, 15-foot tall levee to protect the water treatment plant in the town of Alviso, the lowest point in Santa Clara County. We uh, imported approximately 600,000 cubic yards to date to the levee um, construction. The levee will be finished next year and then restoration can begin. Okay, here we go. Quick orientation before we start walking. But our destination is the northeastern corner of the park from which we will have a view out of most of the Ravenswood Pond complex. A milestone happened here in December. <laughs> the cheers are for bringing back the past and protecting the future. In the South Bay, Mark Jones reporting.